welcome. Let's plays. Game plays. DIY projects. Two. Arcade gaming. Snowly game. 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 What's going on? Z Man the Tech here. Thanks again for tuning in to Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Dimension Drifter by Blue Eagle Productions, released on Steam September 27th of 2018. And a huge shout out to Albertino Robejo from Super Indie for providing this code to me for this review. I greatly appreciate you. So what we're looking at here is a fast paced third person perspective run and gun game where you slay creatures, search for loot, and find keys to open doors and hidden areas for chances at finding more loot. <laughs> this game pays a huge homage to the classic Doom series with the exception of third person perspective and a very well integrated RPG style customization and loot system. And as far as I can see, it's identified itself to me as a very addictive and an entertaining little shooter with hack and slash elements. So let's talk about the gameplay. Controls are tight and responsive that really leave you with a sense of having full control and mobility of your character. At its core, it really does feel like a Doom style game with added paper and pen RPG elements and a similar Diablo-esque dungeon crawl looting system. You have full customization of your character when it comes to cosmetics, gear, and leveling, though it's a little bit limited right now because it's still early access. You have the ability to dual wield sidearms, use melee weapons, and loot that you collect as you progress is where your variety of selection grows. So aim to get as close to, if not 100% of map completion, or you'll be missing out. So what are the graphics looking like? Models and textures and inner environment atmosphere are moderately detailed and rounded in shape. The item and gear designs exhibit that a lot of love and care went into them, and it's pretty evident that they're a lot much more than borrowed assets. <laughs> Gunshot effects and blood gore are very acceptable. Now, the outside backgrounds could use some cleanup, however, most of your time will be within the walls of the ruins, so it's not too much of a damper. Probably something that will be updated once the game reaches final launch. So how about that sound design? <laughs> Music and sound effects are mastered very well and don't overpower one another, which is a huge, huge plus. Um, this tends to be an issue uh, with a lot of upcoming games that are in early access, and thankfully this is taken care of on a good note. <laughs> the soundtrack takes a retro synthwave approach that is modernized to fit today's standards, and it actually fits pretty well with the style of play. Gunshot and melee weapons sound precise and very clean. And the mission select slash customization music is very smooth and calming, which contrasts well with the intense gameplay you endure, and it's really soothing to come back to. So, lasting appeal and my final thoughts. <laughs> Once you understand the type of game that you're potentially dealing with, you begin to realize that it's a title worth investing some nice portions of time into. The pen and paper RPG elements are the strong points of this game, and the user-friendly controls make for a large player base, no matter what the experience level. So I think it's pretty inviting um, and very engaging once you get into it. Uh, the loot system is pretty addicting, um, as with most games that have those systems are. <laughs> it's all about searching, deeper than you normally would in a standard game you know, getting the strongest armor strongest weapons that you can so you can just just wreck and just wreak havoc um, 
But yeah, I can highly recommend this one. Um, I'm having a blast with it. I'm looking forward to spending more time with it um, going forward. So yeah, if you like what you saw, definitely uh, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, as always, I appreciate you very much. And please remember to keep it locked to Snowy Games for all of your indie game, third-party game, and tech reviews. Thanks.